Luxury cinemas. Some news vibes you can just sit and wait. Push for service. Oh my god. The seat, those are movie seats. There's nobody. That's their lobby. That's where you sit. They have two chairs. Those are the seats. Holy hell. This looks like a prison jail cell. What's going on guys? It's Dr. Hobbs and, and today, today I'm, I'm about, about to go to, go to the cheapest movie theater, theater in, in the world. world. Before I do that, let's go to the fanciest movie theater. This is ranked the number one movie theater in the world. Right now is my last day in San Diego and I'm going to the most fanciest movie theater. It's very fancy. The seats in there are made of marble and there's a bunch of expensive stuff to buy at this movie theater. We're about to watch Bad Boy for Life. It just came out and the movie theater are called Cineapolis in California and those are the most most expensive movie theater you can ever find in the world. I'm about to go to this one and then when I get to Ottawa tomorrow, I'm about to go to the one in Ottawa that is the least expensive, the worst rated movie theater versus the most expensive and the top rated movie theater here in California and see the difference between these two. You know, because there's a bunch of people that can't really afford going to this very expensive movie theater. I get it. I would never go there if I wasn't filming this video for you guys. See the experience that we get in these movie theaters. How different is one from the other? We're going to be renting the food and the seats and like the atmosphere and how many seats these movies have compared to each other for bougie stuff you need to have a smaller crowd of people and you can see how big the screen is the quality of the screen i obviously can't film watching the movie because it's gonna be copyrighted we're gonna see the service and how comfortable the seats are between these two type of people that goes to these movie theater i'm super excited and bad boys for life i already watched the first one and the second one will smith is one of my favorite actor of all time shout out to will smith i know he watches my video so shout out to you man if you're a big fan of will smith please comment down in the the comments will smith because he watches all my videos and i'm sure he's gonna be watching this because i'm mentioning him shout out to my big brother will smith and please guys as i said comment in the comments will smith and he knows that we support him and we love everything he does so without further ado let's get to the most expensive movie theater in the world called Cineapolis in california here are the types of car that we see at these movie theater a porch tesla vibes a bmw and audi Cineapolis clearly says on it luxury cinemas as you guys see the car here are very expensive let's see what the movies is gonna be all about already the entrance is luxurious these vibes a luxury cinema Let's try to see what luxury cinemas is all about okay there's a bar literally a whole bar I never seen bar at the movies Cineapolis luxury cinemas it's like a hotel oh my god I feel like I'm a hotel lobby hey okay it's like you're in a five-star luxury hotel that's not cinemas like there's a TV inside the cinemas Look at this, some news vibes, you can just sit and wait. Are we at the cinemas or at some fancy hotel? It's all the movies, Cineapolis, and we're about to watch this one right here, Bad Boy for Life. All right, I'm gonna wait and see how much the tickets are in here. I'm gonna wait for someone to come and serve me. And then we're gonna see the difference between buying tickets here and tickets at the cheap test right here. Tickets are a 25 USD. That's like $30 in Canada. Okay, I'm gonna buy my ticket and head to the movies and check around. Okay, let's get the tickets. All right, I don't know how I sneak my camera in, but I feel like I'm in a hotel, literally moving in a hotel lobby. Hopefully, they're not gonna stop me because I'm filming and at some luxury movies vibes. Okay, I'm gonna show you the hallway. Look at this. Literally doesn't seem like in a movies. Like we're not in a movies. What is this? That's a five-star hotel. And oh, my movies is right here. Look at this. How luxurious that is. It's literally so fancy. Oh, movies number nine. We're gonna go in here. Actually filming in the most expensive movie theater in the world. These are the seats. Look at the seats. Look at the seats. Please, please, please look at the seats. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The seat. Those are movie seats. Holy oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The last row, cause bad boys sit in the last row. Okay, that's my seat G7, just like my camera G7X. We have some light, and that's the movies. We're literally at the last last row. We have some menu vibes. Push for service. Never seen these. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Someone's gonna come and serve me. I'm gonna check the menu. The guy's right here, and I'm stressed. Gotta be right back. I need to be quiet. That's the menu though. Burgers, sandwiches. <laughs> Edamame, tacos, they have literally everything, dessert, and they have this, this vibes here, I don't know how to move that, just literally stuck, I'm about to be sleeping, I'm literally gonna be laying down like this, watching the movie, Coke, M&M, Skittles, Kineapolis, popcorn vibes, some edamame, soy sauce, and nachos, the movie's about to start, so I'm gonna catch you right after the movies, to wait the food and everything.
Oh my god, that was a crazy experience. These movies are crazy. Like, I don't think what I felt it was an amazing experience. To rate that movie, I literally give that movie an 8 out of 10. It was sick. I don't want to spoil anything. I know some of you guys haven't watched it yet. Crazy movie. As I said, comment down below with Miss to show the support for my boy. The theater, as you guys seen from the inside, it only fits around 50 to 60 people. That's it. You can't have 200 people in a bougie movie theater. I can literally get lost in this movie theater. It's I can't take it out of my mind that it looks like a five-star hotel. Luxurious movie movie theater in the world food I ate a lot of food and the food was actually high quality so not only the movies were good even the food it has a whole menu in there it's like a whole restaurant so I was gonna say this whole vibes in there the food the atmosphere is high quality 9 out of 10 like you can't find these stuff some casinos and there's literally palm trees right there the food itself everything and all and for all was about a hundred dollars USD is only on the food so it's a lot of money but the food was actually really really good the service was amazing the booth was super comfortable it lays down come like a bed and right now we need to compare it to the worst movie Movie theater my plane is tomorrow morning lowest quality movie theater in the world I will catch you guys back in Ottawa I just got to Ottawa last night on my way to the, the cheapest the worst rated movie theater here in my city the thing is guys it's inside a mall you know when the movies are inside a mall you know it's all you would say it's not bad not bad but there's no way a luxury movie theater would be in a mall so there you can tell it's not as good it's not as bougie as expensive because it's inside a mall but right now we're almost there and I can't wait what's waiting for us over there we're gonna obviously watch the same movie bad boys for life shout out will smith and let's see how this experience is gonna go now let's compare the cheapest one and see the difference you guys remember how there were porsches teslas over there here we have some toyotas more toyotas some honda some hyundai some more toyotas and some ford and toyotas so many toyotas so right away from here you can tell the difference between people going to cineapolis and the people going to this one it's called imagine cinemas looks like that that's how it looks like it's a little low of that right away and the parking lot over there there were palm trees some nice aesthetics around the movies right here what they have is this pole a pole and another pole telling me not to park the vibes are really off in here but it's cold outside i need to run inside and see what the cheapest movie theater in the world looks like what I'm walking on that's the puddles that's what I'm walking on right now oh my god not only the movies theater are cheap in here I feel like the whole city is cheap the entrance is stressing me out remember the entrance over there beautiful look at this entrance please look at this look at this some vibes some vibes that's the entrance of our movie theater the sign for the movies there's a gym right next to the gym there's the movies oh my god the gym is right there and that's the movies right here. Imagine movie cinemas. There's nobody. Uh, purchase ticket. Yes, today. The Joker is still up. Oh, I've seen that like two months ago. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me they don't have Bad Boys for Life. They don't have Bad Boys for Life. Oh my God, let's see. That's the movies they have. There's no Bad Boys for Life. Did it come out here yet? See, that's the thing here. The cheapest movies in the world are so back in the past. They're playing movies from like two months ago. The Joker came out literally like five months ago. But I'm gonna buy at this point, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna buy any movies and go inside and check the vibes. From an outside perspective, this is off. I don't know any of these movies. Not one of those except the Joker. And they have the oldest arcade games. Look at this. The oldest arcade game. That's their lobby. That's where you sit. They have two chairs. Over there, they had a whole entire couch. The carpet is stressing me. Been waiting here. There's nobody to serve me. There's no one to give me to buy so I can buy a ticket. Literally, there's no one. Look at this self-serve kiosk because they can't afford to pay for employees. So you just have to assume there's someone. Everything is closed. I don't know how to buy a movie. But the thing is, I need to go inside. So I might just sneak my way in and see if I'm gonna be able to go in. Okay, I'm not gonna say a word. I'm gonna put the camera and let's try to go straight up. Straight ahead right here. There's just one guy over here working. Well, let's see the vibes. You know, so I'm just walking. <clears throat> Nothing to look here. Yeah, <clears throat> remain yeah. Number one, magnificent. And I'm in. See? <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't pay for a thing. There's people watching. Here Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's why we want Trying to find a seat. Those are the seats. Holy hell, holy hell. Holy hell, holy hell, holy hell. Oh my god, I'm gonna be chilling on seats like that? Look at those seats. Oh my god. Holy hell. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I just got out of Magnificent. The chairs are so old. And right now I'm just walking around the movies. No one's telling me anything. 
see I'm right here right now nobody's telling me anything I can literally walk in any for free literally I didn't pay a thing there's a movie going on here pay that I can go to any movies this is weird look movies number four this looks like a prison jail cell Literally going from movies to movies, no one cares, no one is telling me anything. Let's go here, number three, cats. See some vibes here. <laughs> oh my god, I can literally watch any movie I want for free. I haven't paid a dollar. I did not pay for one dollar, guys, in here. But the thing is, I'm not gonna stay longer because you guys seen the inside of the movies, it's super dark. The chairs, I swear, it reminds me of my university chairs. I'm literally like, I'm sitting at school in an auditorium and there's a prof in front of me teaching me some lesson. They make you sit in a big theater, make you watch a movie. That's the vibes, like you're in high school watching movies. This is so bad, I would never in my life come here. Look at, look how it says, cats. If you guys remember over there, indicated the movie is way nicer than this. What is this, cardboard vibes? That's so old. And there's no menu. There, you can't order any food. You can't get food over here. There's no food. There's nothing. There's no one to serve you. It's a self-serve kiosk. And I walked in for free. I paid zero dollars for this whole thing. Star Wars coming soon. My geez. Star Wars came like two months ago. Ah, you know, uh, it's the cheapest, cheapest movie theater in the world. The difference between these two is actually crazy. The fanciest one versus the cheapest one. I don't, I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know if I should walk in back in any movies. I, I, I can't watch movies like that. These were hurting my back. I was, I can't sit longer than two seconds. Literally two pieces of metal. All right, guys, before I leave, just one last word. These movies were very bad. They were actually extremely bad compared to the most luxury movie theater. This was quite the experience. I showed you guys two parts of the world. The most expensive one versus the cheapest one. Very luxurious versus very poor. And now you guys can see the two. The seats between the two were crazy. Before the seats, the entrance, the cars from the outside, you can tell right away that the movies are gonna be expensive or cheap. Just knowing the car from the outside parked for that movie the food quality in here i didn't have the chance to have any food because they don't serve food so i guess at cheap movies theater they don't have any food to serve you over there we had the server there was a waiter bringing us our food the whole crowd was different over here you can fit maybe around 200 people over there is just 30 to 40 people so the whole thing they're very very different and guys that was a nice experience for me i need you to comment down below where do you want me to go something really fancy versus something very very cheap compare the both extremely luxury versus extremely poor comment down below type of thing that should do i just did the movies maybe i should do hotel most expensive hotel with the cheapest hotel comment down below what you want me to see next but for now i am out i'm back to ottawa the snow the weather ah, but i'm getting out of ottawa very very soon always turn your haters to motivators i will see you in the next video a peace